Apple has just released iOS 26.0.1, the first update to iOS 26, but what we all wanna know is, did it fix all the bugs? And also, if you're still in iOS 18, should you update your iOS 26 now? Is it good? Let's talk about that. How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and let's start right off the bat talking about the release notes. What Apple actually officially said they changed with iOS 26.0.1. And they actually had four changes, four bug fixes and improvements. And that's pretty much it. But of course, we're gonna dive in after I explain you them all. Starting with the first one, which has to do with connectivity, especially on the new iOS iPhone 17 series, so 17, 17 Pro, and of course the iPhone Air as well, more specifically about Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So it would occasionally disconnect on those devices, and then that's pretty much it, just a connection issue. I actually felt that, especially while using Apple CarPlay, so thankfully that's fixed in iOS 26.0.1. Moving on, let's talk about bug number two, which also had to do with connectivity but this time this bug could have affected any iPhone. Any iPhone after updating to iOS 26 could have seen this issue which was related to cellular network. So sometimes the iPhone just couldn't connect to cellular network so then you wouldn't have 4G or 5G LTE for example and it was just a bug. It wasn't a problem with your phone or with your carrier. It was just a bug that's fixed now. Let's continue with improvement number three, and it's actually a little bit weird, let me show you. So, you're seeing this photo right here, okay? And you're seeing that it has this black box, and then same goes on this other photo right here, and then we also have some weird stuff on some images, specifically under very, very specific bright scenarios and situations. So, this was actually discovered by a CNN and reporter that was actually testing the iPhone 17 and noticed that when taking a photo, and of course this is at a concert and it had an LED panel on the back, uh, you could see those weird artifacts. And this actually was a bug. So some people were actually experiencing this exact same thing and Apple reported and said that yes, we are aware and we are actually fixing this. This is exclusive to the new iPhone 17 series as well, the whole line, 17 17, 17 Pro and the iPhone Air, but now it's fixed in iOS 26.0.1 very specific. Now I want to talk about something that I'm pretty sure all of us have seen at least once after updating to iOS 26. So if you tap and hold on your home screen and then you tap on edit and then you go ahead and tap on customize and then you go ahead and tap on clear your apps or you choose any tinted options as well, it, it doesn't matter, you have probably seen that sometimes some of the apps were tinted, some of the apps weren't, some of the apps actually looked like they were loading so it was a weird weird thing happening in iOS 26 and Apple noticed that and it's fixed and again this is for everyone not just the new iPhones and then last but not least on this first portion of the video if we go to settings and then scroll down to accessibility and then tap on voiceover some users had actually the feature disabled after updating to iOS 26 so some people who use the feature actually had it disabled it just wasn't working Working, just press on the side button and then it goes away. So that's pretty much it. Just this quick, easy fix for those users that had that issue. And of course, this is what Apple is telling us with their release notes, but there are a ton more bugs when we're talking about iOS 26. For example, I myself am having a very annoying bug with this iPhone and I still don't know if it's this iPhone or if it's iOS, but I'm pretty sure it's iOS because it comes and goes and it has to do with Face ID. So Face ID is just really not working, really instable. Let's say out of 10 times, Face ID works like seven, which is really low. Like normally out of 10 times, it works 10 times, right? So it's getting really, really annoying. Again, probably has to do with iOS 26 and this particular issue wasn't fixed after updating to 26.0.1, I'm still having it. And I've reset it face ID, I've recorded my face multiple times, I tried alternate appearance, I've done it all and it's still not 
there please let me know if you have this face id issue as well down here on the comments down below and of course we have to talk about battery drain battery issues thermal issues uh, so ios 26 still has a ton more issues not just these five that i just mentioned of course it's great that they fix those but there are a ton more and i always remember you guys as well that keep in mind that some of the issues you're facing with ios 26 also have to do with the apps themselves so third-party apps not just ios but the apps from the developers from the other developers from the community so this is super super important as well make sure to always constantly update your apps if you don't know how to do this it's very simple actually go ahead grab your iphone open up the app store and then i've shown this multiple times here on the channel as well but it's always important to to show again and then at the top right hand corner tap on your face and then go ahead and pull all the way down until you see it spinning as you can see and then you're gonna have a ton of apps to update you generally are gonna have a few apps every single day so go ahead and update all this will help you so so much on those very first weeks and months of a major new software update so answering the question the question that i made right at the beginning of the video so did ios 26.0.1 fix all of the issues no naturally it didn't and it will take some time so it won't be on this very first software update we will have to wait a few weeks a few more months probably we'll see ios 26.0.2 sometimes even 0.3 and of course the big update the first big update which will be 26.1 which will come probably next month so if the question is is ios 26 great now no it isn't it still has issues and problems but of course it's getting better and better after every single update like this one that was released today and then question number two daniel i'm still in ios 18 18.7 i'm waiting for ios 26 to be stable good great and i can trust it it's not the time just yet so if you're still in ios 18 if you could actually manage to wait the anxiety of updating and then you're holding on and you're fine in ios 18 wait a little bit more wait at least until ios 26.1 as i mentioned which will be a big software update within ios 26 probably coming next month and then it should be pretty good by then but of course not now not yet so just wait a little bit longer if you are in this scenario and of course if you are already in ios 26.0 if you are in ios 26 update right now you have nothing to lose ios 26.0.1 will make your ios 26 experience better all right so that's pretty much it thanks for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one as usual guys bye bye